What is going on, investors? Back again. Interesting topic today. I had lots of family, friends, and fans of the channel message me today. Is the stock market about to crash? And that is because the Dow Jones was off 2.78% or 807 points today. The S&P 500 was down 3.5% or down 125 points. And the NASDAQ was down 5% or close to 600 points on the day. And people are wondering, is this the sign of the market rolling over? So we'll jump into some of the economic data that's kind of interesting and pertinent to the situation. And then finally, we're going to jump into the most popular stocks that have been jolting this market to the upside and could play a role in bringing it down. Now, I am not at all surprised that the market will have a pullback. In fact, I posted a video back on July 6th why I thought the market would crash or at least have a significant pullback. So there's just so much economic data and we also have fundamental data and then we also have the election that I think just will play havoc on these markets for the rest of the year. And I think we saw a preview of that today. Now, Apple had one of its worst days. In fact, the worst day of any stock of all time. It lost $150 billion off its market cap. That's more than Facebook lost back in July 2018 when it lost $120 billion off its market cap. And Volkswagen had the record where it lost $143 billion back in October of 2008. And so Apple was down 6 0.7% today and had one of the worst declines in market cap on record. That is not a good sign. Now, what's also not a good sign is consumer confidence fell. And now I know that consumer confidence is just a survey. It's not necessarily a, a accurate reading, but we see here that consumer confidence dropped. It came back up and then it dropped again. So we did not see this V-shaped recovery, or at least we saw a very small V and now it's back down again. Consumers are definitely feeling the pinch of the pandemic and other joblessness and other things out there. Now, speaking of jobs, U.S. jobless claims since the coronavirus obviously peaked back here in late March and April and have been on a relatively steady decline, but we see them now kind of flattening out here in August. And I think we get a reading on this tomorrow. I would expect them to be somewhere in this range. And this is definitely an elevated range. We see back here where they normally were, at least in really good economic economic times, we're still way above that. The longer that these jobless claims stay in this level, the worse it is for the economy and likely the worse it is for stocks as well. Now, the unemployment rate is an absolute disaster. We see that it was down here at a record low, in fact, and then boom, it spiked up, obviously for good reason or reasons that we're very familiar with. And it's come down here, but I've seen a lot of economic professors and, and economists predict that we'll probably hover in this 10% range for a good period of time in this 9 to 10% range. And the last time we were there, we had a very deep recession and the financial crisis was back here. And then finally, we were about half this range or a little more than half the range back in July of 2000. And we had a recession and a stock market crash back in this time as well. Now, the stock market has not crashed. In fact, it did a little bit in March, but it snapped back and came all the way back into record highs. And I think people are wondering, you know, what is going on? And I think it's a great question to ask. So let's take a look at the three most highly traded stocks or some of the stocks that have been up, bid up the most. We'll take a look at Tesla, Apple, and Microsoft. So from a chart perspective, these stocks all look very weak to me. They've rolled over here at the top. They are hovering at this bottom moving average. Although when you take a look at Apple, it's actually trading right below a moving average. That's not a good sign. And Microsoft is touching it here. Tesla is still elevated over it a little bit, which is a good sign for Tesla. But a negative sign is this MACD has rolled over. It's about to cross here. The RSI has absolutely plunged and fallen off a cliff. Now, some levels where I would look to 
possibly buy Tesla. Nowhere up here. I am not looking to buy this stock up here. If you want to buy it up here, I would have incredibly tight stops on this because this stock is starting to move. You're starting to see much bigger candles up here. Notice how small these candles are. These are small moves. And then when you start seeing these candles, they're starting to stretch out. So the price is starting to move around very wildly. And so I would actually predict bigger swings here with Tesla. Now, the first level I'd like it at is possibly this 330 level. So it's about $70 less than where we're at today. Even better than that, I think all the way down to this 290 level down here, that would be an interesting spot as well. Right when the stock kind of leveled out before it kind of went bonkers here after they announced kind of a, a, a split like Apple did. Now, Apple, similar type of price action here. The stock back before it announced its earnings and its split was trading sideways, in fact, and now it broke up above. I think we're going to probably break down with this stock. I think the first level I would like for this is right at this 108, 109 area. Even better than that is probably $100 even would be an interesting level to add to Apple. Now with Apple, this is the one stock that I own and I'm very overweight Apple. So this is like a guy that has a closet full of sneakers. Okay. He's not looking to go to Nike.com and pay full price. But if Nike puts his favorite sneakers on 50% off clearance, then of course he's going to buy some pairs. And so that's where I stand with Apple. It looks very weak to me. It looks like we've made a top here and this stock wants to roll over. This MACD has rolled over. These moving averages are starting to turn negative. The RS has moved over. Even when you look at these on a little bit more extended basis, like a monthly basis, excuse me, a weekly basis with Apple, we see the MACD is way overextended and it looks like it wants to roll over and the RSI is starting to roll over as well with Apple. I would look to these levels here between $100 and $110 per share as the first likely stopping point for Apple if this trend continues. Now, Microsoft, similar picture with Microsoft. This stock has made kind of a peak here. It's been more of a steady rise with Microsoft, but we're actually right on a trend line here. If you want to draw like a, a, a longer trend here, this stock has kind of been on it. We touched here. Now we're touching it here. So now if a bullish action would be if it bounces off this trend line and trends back up, that's possible as well. But we're right teetering on the edge here. If it wants to roll over, it looks like the MACD wants to roll over. It looks Looks like the RSI has already rolled over. We saw with Apple on a daily chart that the MACD has actually turned negative. We see this negative bar here. So Apple's starting to roll over. Microsoft is rolling over. Tesla is rolling over. The levels that I would look for Microsoft would be right at this $200 level or maybe down at this $180, $190 would be very interesting as well. So the stock market rolled over today. We'll see if that carries forward into the rest of the week and into next week. Obviously, if you're new to the market and you're new to trading, you don't like to see these things. If you're like me, you're looking for sales. I am like the person with a full closet of Gucci and uh, Nike shoes and Levi jeans. I just wait for these companies to put these things on sale and that will get me excited. So we'll see what happens if the futures and the after hour trading kind of follows through with this type of thing. We'll see what happens, but I would keep close eye on on what is happening with Apple, Microsoft, and Tesla. These stocks are very close to breaking down and rolling over. And if they do, they'll take the entire market with them. But luckily, there's some levels on the horizon here, which I think might be interesting. If you're looking to go shopping some of these stocks, I'd keep a close eye on these levels because they might appear here in the next few days or weeks to come. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll be back again soon, maybe with more good news, maybe more bad news, but either way, good luck with your investments.